Talk a little bit about cayenne pepper, please. Well, cayenne peppers has become my favorite herb. Now, most people look at it and say, no, it's a pepper, but I call it an herb. An herb is a plant that doesn't have a woody like stalk, so therefore it is an herb. Now, some of the herbology, well, some of the um, um, people in the uh, horticulture business will probably argue with me about that, but that's okay. It's just, you know, I say tomato, you say tomato. Now, uh, <clears throat> we have had good luck with it and a few people that I know that are taking it for um, blood pressure regulation. One person in particular is off their, by doctor's orders, is off of her um, uh, high blood pressure medication now and doing very well. Um, one of the things that I've recently discovered in my study in and out of the herbology is that um, as we get older, our body produces less, kind, less um, stomach acid. Now, stomach acid is one of the basic things that we need in order to uh, digest our food. We cannot digest our food efficiently without acid. So, therefore, if you're running, if your acid is going back and you're having problems with uh, digestion and stomach problems, cayenne is a very good remedy for that. Now, there is an old um, wives' tale out there that says that if you eat cayenne or any other kind of hot pepper, it's going to eat your stomach out. Well, that's impossible since, since I, I can't tell you right offhand what the pH of our stomach acid is, but it's high, high, highly acidic hydrochloric acid. So therefore, cayenne cannot eat your stomach out. In fact, it's also been used to uh, treat people that, with bleeding ulcers, and they're bleeding ulcers, and I know two people that claim that uh, their bleeding ulcers were cured in one day just by using cayenne pepper. I've heard that it can also stop heart attacks, too. Yes, it can. It's been known to. Some of the herbologists that I've read and uh, naturopathic physicians have been able to give a dropper full of their uh, tincture of, of uh, cayenne pepper, which is usually mixed with um, ginger and garlic, to a patient. And oftentimes they have to convince the patient to go to the hospital afterwards because they feel so much better after they have that. And, uh, most of them have said that they've never, ever lost a heart patient by giving them the cayenne pepper tincture. Fantastic. Now myself, I've also experienced with cayenne pepper that it stops bleeding. There's a few times I've had some accidents and was bleeding and probably should have had a stitch or two, but I poured cayenne pepper on it and the bleeding stopped within a minute and that was fine. And you know that, um, like I said a few minutes ago, that preparation with the uh, ginger and the garlic sounds like a great pasta sauce too. Right, right, right. I have a, I mix mine with peanut butter. When I have my peanut butter sandwich for lunch in the afternoon, I'll put a teaspoon of this mixture of olive oil, cayenne pepper, ginger, and garlic on it, and mix it up with the peanut butter, and it tastes really good. Now that sounds like a Thai dish. <laughs> yes, it does. It's very close to it. Would you suggest something like that rather than um, supplements? I would. Um, the only supplements I like to use now, I've gotten away from taking the supplement pills, is I'll take the herbs and if I need something else, I'll, I'll either juice or um, do a smoothie with the, uh, with the fruits that I think I need. Like if they're vitamin C, I'll do a mixture of fruits that are higher in vitamin C. Ah, fantastic. I didn't thought of smoothies. Smoothies are juicy. Okay, great. And always remember to chew your juice. Chew your juice? <laughs> chew, chew your juice and drink your food and drink your meals. Make Good sure idea. you everything needs to be chewed well and needs to mix with the saliva in order to be able to, uh, that's your first step towards digestion. Okay, fantastic. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.